Over the past few years, we've seen a wave of new tools for look development, DCTLs, OFX plugins, and some really handy updates to Resolve's native toolset. But I still often find myself wanting for the simplicity of a LUT, something that is pre-built, dialed in, and ready to use. The problem is, LUTs are kind of a black box. You apply one, and suddenly, there's a whole mix of changes. Contrast, color, saturation, all locked in together, whether you want them or not. Plus, LUTs have to be added one node at a time, so even if you're using multiple LUTs, they can be a bit clunky to play around with on the fly. So I started building a new tool with the speed and simplicity of a LUT, but with enough control to make it personal to your project. It's called LookBank. LookBank has four main modules, Contrast, Split, Palette, and Modifier. Each module comes with a preset selector and a strength slider. So you can pick the preset with the character that you like most and then dial in exactly how much of it you want to blend in and create your perfect look. Starting with contrast, which is the foundation of a good look, each preset is a different S-curve, ranging from punchy and bold, like one, to filmic, like six, or subtle, like 10. You can also enable the contrast overlay to see the exact shape of the S-curve. All of them are designed to preserve middle grey in DaVinci Intermediate, which is this spot right here which intersects the baseline so that you won't get unexpected shifts in your exposure. Contrast is processed last in the pipeline, so it shapes the final image after all the other adjustments. It's the most influential module and a great place to start when building a look. Next is Split, which adds split toning. For instance, one is a classic teal and orange combo, seven is a cool tint in the highlights for a more vintage look, and five introduces warmth subtractively for a sunset inspired look. Middle grey and a bit on either side are protected, so skin tones will stay intact. Most of the effect happens in the highlights and shadows where you want to see colour contrast. Palette is where you start shaping hue in a more focused way. It combines three tools. Hue vs Hue, Hue vs Sat, and Hue vs Luma. Each preset has a distinct feel, combining a mix of all three hue curve effects. One deepens reds and shifts blues towards cyan. Five gives you deep, rich blues. Three moves yellows and greens into a warm autumnal orange. Each of these tools are built using the same ultra smooth spline curves, ensuring the look will hold up as seamlessly as possible across a wide range of shots. The last section is Modifier, which handles saturation in two separate ways. It includes Sat v Sat and Loom v Sat. Each preset treats saturation differently. Two is a Sat vs Sat curve, which stretches the saturation separation between colours. Six is a Loom vs Sat curve for a filmic look. And eight combines Sat vs Sat and Loom vs Sat to create a more dynamic, high saturation aesthetic. There are also two checkboxes. The first is clamp input. It cuts off any negative RGB values before any look adjustments are applied. You can think of it as a safety step that trims off any problematic values before they can get passed into the look. The second checkbox is switch palette and modifier. By default, modifier runs first, followed by palette, which usually works best since palette adjustments need some color information to function. The problem comes when you're creating a desaturated or monochrome look. If the modifier preset reduces the saturation, the palette preset no longer has anything to work with. In that case, enabling this switch runs palette first, allowing it to influence the colors before the desaturation kicks in. This keeps the palette adjustment effective even during low saturation looks. Because LookBank is so quick to work with, I'll often build three completely different looks, save them as stills, and then run a quick shootout to see which one really suits the project. For example, look one might be lower in contrast and more muted with a slight green bias. Look two, add some snap into the tone shape with some coolness in the shadows. And look three goes bolder with a more noticeable yellow push in the highlights for a warmer palette. LookBank makes that kind of iterative creative workflow super easy to explore. If you prefer full control, LookBank is actually built from five separate tools working together under the hood. Each one tackles a different part of the pipeline. Color bleaching, hue remapping, 
tone shaping and more. You can find all five tools individually on my online store or as a full bundle if you want the complete set. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to try Lookbank, there's also a free demo on my store. It's fully functional, doesn't expire, but it does add a watermark. And if you've got feedback or want to suggest new presets, I'd love to hear from you. I'm always looking to improve it based on real world use. Thanks again.